What's up? Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1962 Impala. This car here has got the 5.7, 350 under the hood, power steering. Got disc brakes in the front. We're gonna be taking it down the road, testing everything out. That way you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. This one does have the SS emblems all the way around it. It is not a real SS. Somebody else did that before us. Just letting you know, give you a heads up, you know. But anything that I see that may be wrong, I will point it out. That's why we do the test drives and the walk arounds of each car on the lot. There's always two videos for each car. And maplemotors.com offers financing, shipping information, and 100 detailed pictures. But you know what? For now, we're gonna take off down the road. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Kind of look around the interior before we take off here. You can see the steering wheel's a bit faded on it. They actually put it in upside down. I wonder if they did that on an accident. <laughs> I would assume so. Mileage says uh, 340 on the dash. I can't stand by that. We got a crate motor in here anyways. Got some gauges up under the dash. We'll go ahead and start her up. Interior's in pretty good shape. Package tray looks good. Headliner's nice and clean. Go ahead and try some stuff out. Place your bets you think the horn works. I know the radio doesn't cut on. I tried to do that earlier blower motors out on it and the windshield wipers they work let's try the horn no horn all right let's take off okay we're getting ready to take off down the road here so i'm gonna go ahead and buckle up anything that i see that this car may need i will let you know we did uh get the numbers off the back of the motor that's how we knew it was a crate motor so we got a good start here uh, like i said if i see anything wrong with it i'm gonna point it out as we drive and about halfway through, we're going to stop for a full detailed walk around on the outside of this car. Speedometer is not coming up. Steering's nice and tight. No slack in it at all. Nice and tight. Our engine temperature is coming up. It's about 150 right now. Uh, looks like the voltmeter is working as well as our oil pressure. If I let off the throttle, it sits down at about 35, 40. And back into it about 45, 50. Gas gauge is also floating around. It's a good indication. Car is going straight as an arrow down the road, not pulling to the left and right. And our kick down is hooked up. Check the brakes out. We got disc brakes on the front and they're stopping fast. This car runs and drives awesome got some little stuff it sounds like the blower motor is working on here but it is working I just don't feel it blowing out anywhere maybe it needs some vent work so yeah if I pull it up it cuts off so the blower motor was working it just needs some work down there getting it to go straight through the vents turn signals are popping up on the dash here the turn signal switch is a little bit finicky though well, it feels pretty good it's pulling strong manually turn off the turn signal switch it'll or it'll just stay on so far so good on the running and driving part 
Now I'm gonna pull in this parking lot here. We're gonna walk around the outside of this car. I'm gonna look for chips, scratches, anything I can find. It's in a separate video. Uh, what, what you're about to go into is drive-by shots, underneath shots, and uh, just don't forget, two parts to every car. Let's get all these shots. Good deal guys okay so we've been running around the park a lot i've done done the walk around video uh and looking down at our gauges oil pressure is like 35 engine temps like 180. she's good i noticed the linkage on here is a little bit off uh you can go down to drive here and that's in neutral you pull it down one more you go to drive you can't get it down into low gear Okay, traffic. <laughs> this time change has really messed me up, guys. Uh, we're actually supposed to be closed right now. I looked down, I was like, hold up. That's not right. A little bit of a vibration coming from right here on the column somewhere. Something's shaking. Also got a little bit of wind noise coming from our vent windows. I don't feel any wind coming through. But you can hear it. smooth ride we're coming up on the speed bump road we're gonna hit it at 100 mile an hour and see how much air we can get <laughs> i don't think at 100 this thing would get any air it's such a big car it's like a boat all right we're coming up on that bump is look that guy just hit it right here Fairly smooth, kind of just floated over. You hear that buzz? It's just right there. It's in the column. sitting here trying to play with this turn signal switch. There's like a sweet spot that, get, that cuts it off. It's like right there. No, nope. right there. 
<laughs> All right, guys, hopefully this was informative enough, let you know everything that I found that was wrong with this car. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be jumping on at least four test drives. That's eight videos, walk arounds, test drives. Let's get it done, guys. And then I'll be working on the following week. Check out TikTok, guys. We've been adding stuff to that and Instagram, like pretty much daily. I do appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all telling people about this place. Uh, I've had a lot of people come up and say, hey, I was referred to by so-and-so. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. And he said, well, he watches you on YouTube. That's awesome, guys. Uh, definitely appreciate that. Y'all are the reason that my uh, videos keep going out every day. I work all the time just coming in early, getting all these videos on here for you. And I enjoy doing it. So definitely a big shout out. Looks like our brake lights are sticking too. I bet you if I pull up on that pedal. Let's try it. Yep, something to remember. But we try to go over every little detail in these videos so you know exactly what you're getting before you get it. I sell cars all over the nation. California is the biggest buyers for these Impalas. That's one thing. And then we go to we have cars that go to New York, Texas, and uh, we do update our website every Monday. And on there you can find financing, shipping information, uh, uh, descriptions on each one of the cars, 100 detailed pictures. And we update it with like 10 cars a week, sometimes 15. And that was just done today. All right, guys. Join me tomorrow. I'll have a lot more cars on here for you. Thanks for watching. Later, guys. The walk around video is located the last 30 seconds of this one. Let's go ahead and click the link. Check it out.